Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have a look at how to make Game Creator 2 work with VR. Here I am in a, a default project, I've loaded Eurocam VR, it doesn't matter if you load Eurocam VR, AXA VR, or uh, VR Interaction Toolkit, um, it's irrelevant, you try them out, um, well let's have a look right now. And then, um, yeah. I'm, I'm sitting, only can use one controller at the moment. Anyway, you try it out, it, it all works, um, all works fine, and you have your basic UI interactions. Um, everything else obviously will work, um, all great. Now, here comes the issue. Um, the moment that we are going to be installing Game Creator 2, um, you're going to have an issue. So, um, oh, should have added that too. Oh, here it is anyway. Um, so the moment you install Game Creator 2, um, you will notice that um, some things don't work anymore. And for Game Creator 1, that was quite an easy solution. Um, you basically had to uh, had to modify the trigger script uh, the moment you added the trigger to the scene, um, and everything would work. Game Creator 2, it's different. The moment you load Game Creator 2 into your project, um, it already breaks, kind of. Um, so Game Creator 2 works fine, by the way. Um, you'll see some warnings. They're actually not related to Game Creator 2 at all. Um, they're related to Hurricane. Um, not sure why. Um, anyway, um, and then um, if I hit play right now, um, you'll see what I mean with the broken uh, UI interaction. So, um, still really not sure what's going on here. Anyway, um, yeah, and then uh, it, uh, it, it works sometimes. So as you can see, it, it all depends. It works sometimes and then sometimes it just, well, as you can see now, nothing happens. It doesn't reliably work. And not in a way that you can say, hey, you know what? I can actually um, use this for a uh, game project um, and you know create a game with this it's just not usable um, real shame obviously because um, I like developing in VR as well so trust me <laughs> it's a real shame now luckily there's a solution for this and not in the sense that we can simply um, you know make Hurricane just work out of the box because we can't um, you need to create a new project um, that uses um, Let's do, here we go. Um, that uses the VR core. Um, this is URP, by the way, uh, just so you know, it's a URP project. So here we have the project. Um, it has a uh, sample scene, um, which I'll play now. I've also loaded in Game Creator 2. And now if I hit play, um, I'll actually have um, full UI interaction and let me tell you something else as well the UI interaction in um, in this sample scene is I'll be fair it's just way better than the paid assets um, not criticizing unity just constantly updates this uh, they make their UIs look just really really great can even drag and drop um, yes of course you can disable all of that uh, but it's just really good stuff um, it's just really really good um, so yeah some basic examples here um, but yeah unity has really cool um, really cool interaction here um, when it comes to uh, when it comes to the UI it just looks really good um, it rotates even with the player which I think is just really really nice um, it's just really pretty um, it's really well done um, so yeah um, you know, it all works. Game Creator 2 is installed. There's no issue. Interaction just works by default. Now, if you're thinking, um, you know, that's really nice. And yes, UI works. But unfortunately, it's, uh, you know, everything else is too basic. Um, fair enough. Um, you know, there's, there's not that much in this scene. Um, but Unity actually created a uh, toolkit template um, that has a bunch more. And still, this is pretty good. We have video playing. We have... Um, a good looking UI, it's grabbable, it rotates along, looks really pretty. Um, it, it's really good stuff. Um, their markers are just really good as well, so you, 
automatically uh, displaces. Uh, again, this is really, it's really solid. But here we have, um, and I'll put the link in the description. Um, this is a Unity template which has uh, a bunch more examples. Now it's a bit, tiny bit older. Um, you know, as you can see, well, last updates were five months ago, so it's not super old, it got updated a bit, um, but it's a tiny bit older. That does mean that if you're going to use this in your new 2022 project, um, you will need to reassign a couple of things. Um, anyway, um, you click get code, uh, download, and then you'll have this zip file. So um, XR interaction kit, um, and what I do um, is basically, um, I'll be fair, I have a, a normal project loaded with this an older project just in case uh, something doesn't work properly I can check how it was supposed to be um, but I also can just do copy here of XRI examples um, and uh, paste it in here most stuff will work out of the box uh, there will be a couple of things that will we need uh, need to be reassigned as unity did rename a couple of a uh, couple of small things um, but yeah it's uh, it, it's it's just really good um, has a bunch more um, and it's all free you don't actually have to pay um, pay anything um, if we go to um, let this load a bit yay there we go um, so it gives us an entire folder of XR examples um, by the way um, if you want to have a look at some other things before we have a look here um, what am I doing? Uh, package manager, there we go. Um, if we go to Unity Registry, um, VR, where is it? XR or something, there we go. Um, XR Interaction uh, Toolkit. Um, if you have a look at samples, you can actually sam uh, in, um, import a couple of other examples as well. So you have the hand interaction for if you're using the quest. Um, I'm using the quest. Uh, I've got the quest tree. Um, so the hand stuff is really cool. Um, it just It's just a couple of simple scripts really. Um, and you can just integrate it. Um, the gaze adapter, um, I would recommend as well. Uh, if you're using the uh, quest pro, and yeah, that's only for the quest pro. Um, and then you have the device simulator. Um, which is the latest thing where basically uh, you're mimicking um, the XR, um, the VR interaction inside of the project when you hit play, so you don't actually have to put the headset on. If you are developing for VR, that's actually really cool. Um, and yeah, again, all of this is just, you know, free stuff. Um, and there's more, by the way, there's more free stuff. Um, I'll actually put something in the description as well, which is some other free things like climbing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, cool. Let's have a look at um, this uh, XRI examples. Um, let's have a, a quick look here. Um, and then uh, scene, and I'm just going to do the main scene. Now, you'll get a couple of errors because you'll need to reassign a couple of things. Um, won't stop you from using anything, it will still work. Uh, well, mostly, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's mostly the main, uh, mostly the same scripts. Um, so you have the, uh, you know, the managers, and um, again, most of it is just really similar. Uh, gaze is turned off for a good reason because I don't have gaze. So yeah, fine. Um, and yeah, you have all of the uh, all of the cool things. Uh, cool. So let's hit play uh, again. This will still work with Game Creator Two. Um, it's not going to cause any issues. Um, first thing you'll notice is um, a lot of the things like this, for example, the whole movement definitely improved um, in the new uh, the new demo. Um, so yeah, Unity is updating this uh, quite a lot. Um, so yeah, you can uh, you know you have some uh, interact options. Uh, again, might need to uh, might need to reassign some of the some of the things, um, but yeah. Cool. Um, you know, we've got our interaction here. Um, yeah, nice stuff. Um, really cool. Um, we've got uh, doors here, uh, drawers. 
you know, all of the, the basic things you would expect for a project, um, it's all just in here, um, really cool. Yes, you might need to reassign a couple of the things, but yeah, it works. Um, we've got the door interaction. Um, it's really difficult because I can only use one hand. Uh, this is one of those things you might need to reassign because right now the door, um, oh, it doesn't actually open. Okay, somehow it now opens, okay. Yeah, um, again, <laughs> you might need to uh, reassign a couple of the, uh, the script references, but yeah. Uh, really cool demo. Um, you can also just um, import that one um, and have it uh, uh, upgrade the project to the new project. That's definitely possible as well. Um, I didn't do that. Might be the better order to do it uh, to make sure nothing misses. Uh, the whole gaze thing, which is nice, but um, I can't use that. Um, this is basically how the whole backpack and snapping of uh, works. Um, so again, this is all free. So you know the whole weapon snapping, um, that's that works like this. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Uh, interactables, yay. Not sure if climbing works. No, it doesn't seem to work. Um, yeah, we've got a, a no, another couple of really cool uh, samples here. Okay. Cool. This is how the backpacks work, by the way, in uh, in a lot of those games or uh, samples. So yeah, really cool, uh, really cool stuff. Um, you know, puzzle things, guns, yay. More guns. The one is two-handed. The other one is uh, one-handed. Some other cool interaction things. Yeah, really nice. Um, God, this is difficult. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Um, I thought this one was really cool actually. So it holds water, but only if it only pours if you shake it. A simple angle thing, but damn, it's actually really nice. And then if you. Wow, cool. Um, and yeah, this is all free. Uh, and this all just works out of the box with, um, yeah, this whole time reversal thing is uh, really cool. Yeah, okay, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, a lot of really cool examples. Um, it's all free, don't have to pay for this stuff, um, which is obviously really nice um, when it's free. Um, definitely, I would uh, say that um, the UI stuff looks um, looks way better in the uh, the new project. I'll be fair. Um, so yeah, I would check the new sample scenes for uh, um, as well, and I'll uh, I'll add like uh, climbing in the description because that's. Uh, that got added um, in again a different project. I would really like Unity to be uh, uh, a bit more <laughs> a bit more consistent, honestly, with all of this, because um, you know we've got all of these cool examples, and this is don't get me wrong, this is all really nice, but would have made sense to just have that in one active project, because um, yeah, most people now just don't really uh, don't really realize. Um, how much unity is actually giving away for free because um, you know again it's just uh, it's just really cool oh uh, never mind I want <laughs> this is the one I actually wanted to provide uh, in the description uh, but I'm not going to because it's actually uh, included by default when you go all the way down to starter assets um, again for some reason hidden away a bit um, but yeah ladder climbing um, let's actually have a quick look Um, so what's really cool with this one um, is that uh, look for the teleporting. Um, I can't teleport here. Uh, this is a non-teleportable zone, so you can actually set that up. This automatically snaps me in a certain direction, um, which I think is really, uh, really nice. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, but yeah, it's uh, really cool. Um, I'm just playing a sound. It's changing the number. And yay, some particle effects. 
Um, this is all gaze stuff, um, which again, I don't have the Quest Pro, so kind of pointless for me to look at. Um, text drop down stuff. Yeah, I would definitely have a look at, um, you know, the new one for that. Uh, the new one is way, uh, way better um, when it comes to the UI stuff. So the default sample one. Um, I can't really climb because I'm only using one hand and holding the headset with the other hand. But yeah, you have climbing uh, in here as well. Oh, that actually kind of works. Oh, wow. Okay, that's kind of cool. Sweet. Uh, so that works. And then you have uh, this level of climbing as well, um, which is really nice. Uh, I think it's because gravity is turned off on the player. <laughs> that's why it works. Um, but yeah, again, uh, really cool stuff. Um, you know, definitely would recommend uh, giving this a try. It's completely free. Uh, and in case you think that, uh, you know, you're missing some things that uh, Hurricane or VRK or whatever you're using are offering, um, then I would simply suggest um, trying to make that work with these scripts um, simply because um, Hurricane um, is using the XR... Um, the XR character framework as well. Same with VR interaction framework. Um, they use that as a foundation um, and then layer their own stuff on top of it, which is really good. Don't get me wrong, their own stuff is um, really good. Um, but it does mean that, um, you know, if you have a tiny bit of C-sharp knowledge um, or um, know how to use ChatGPT to adjust things, um, you know, you can actually do that as well. Just load it in. Um, and just make those things work with the U, uh, Unity uh, Unity framework. Um, yeah, and the Unity framework is just really clean. It's really simple. I love these new ones. Um, this whole new interaction stuff is just um, way better than anything else. Way better than any paid asset, in my opinion. Um, when it comes to the UI things, at least. Um, and yeah, there's just really cool things in here. And this, for some reason, just out of the box works for Game Creator 2. There's absolutely no issue. Um, so again, not really sure what's different in Hurricane or um, the other paid assets that doesn't make it work with Game Creator 2. Um, but all of the really cool and completely free Unity stuff does work with Game Creator 2 out of the box. So yeah, I hope this was kind of useful if you were expecting a, a, a magic little trick. Uh, I haven't found it, maybe it's there, but I haven't found it to make um, Hurricane etc. work with Game Creator 2. However, um, I think this was a good opportunity to really highlight how good the free Unity stuff actually is uh, as well. Because I think outside of a lot of the, well, the basic the weapon, um, weapon stuff, um, I think this is just actually really good and you can actually create a, a lot of things with this um, the setup is actually really simple if you have a look at the um, you know the input manager um, you know it uses the new input manager of course um, it's all really well set up um, everything is really well set up um, we've got our interaction manager um, yeah definitely have a look at how it's built um, but it's uh, it's actually really well done um, really really nicely done um, and because Unity definitely seems to have some meta cooperation, um, you know, because they're always so up to date, um, you've got all of the new stuff as well. So straight away can develop for the Quest Pro, um, the Quest 3. Um, again, have a look at uh, some of these examples as well for the hand interaction. Um, you know, I've seen some, well, you don't really need to pay to get the basic functionality. Let me just say it like that. Um, and then, yeah, you can still make uh, the paid assets work um, with just a little bit of uh, modification. But yeah, all, all of the good stuff is in here. Um, you know, the, the tunnel vignette um, is already in the default project uh, in this new scene as well, um, which is really cool, which helps against motion sickness. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of good stuff already in here. So yeah, definitely have a look. Uh, check out the demo scene that is here as well, apparently um, hidden completely hidden away for some weird weird reason um but yeah check it all out um and yeah this works for game creator too so thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you in the next one